Hi, this is David McCam for WebTNG. The Cadence team has done it again. They released an update to the pro version of Cadence blocks. The newest version adds a dynamic HTML block and support for pulling dynamic content using a post relationship. In this video, we take a look at these two new features. If you like the video, please subscribe. It helps to spread the word about the channel. Here's a test site with the pro version of the Cadence theme. And I have a custom post type called Books. And in a previous video, I showed how to make the template for the custom post type archive and how to make one for the single book record. So we're going to use the Books custom post type in our testing to demonstrate the new features. Let's look on the back end. So we see that there are two custom post types here. There's the Books custom post type and another custom post type called book stores. If we go and look at the custom field groups, the bookstore fields, there's a URL field called bookstore URL. And this field group is assigned to bookstores. Okay, and if we look at the books, we see that in addition to the author's website and author's photo, there are two new fields. There's a custom excerpt field, which is the WYSIWYG editor, and there is an available field. This available field is a post object. So let's look at the available field. We see it's a post object, right? It's a type of relational field with advanced custom fields, and it's set to return the post ID. So those are our fields in the books record. And I just want to show you real quick if we look at one of these bookstore records. So here's the bookstore record and here's the bookstore URL. I have it just going to Barnes and Noble because this is just a made up bookstore, but you get the idea. And now if we go to the book records and take a look at a book. So here's a book record we see here's the a link to the author's website, a URL field, and the author's photo, which we used in a previous video. But now here are two other fields, a custom excerpt field, which is the WYSIWYG. This is kind of like the old classic editor. What we have here is the title of the book is in italics. Often when you are writing about a book, you put it in italics or you bold it. And then here's a link here to the genre archive for legal thrillers and I've added my rating with stars. That's one custom field, the custom excerpt, which is a WYSIWYG field. And then the other one is called available. And this is the post relation field. And what we have here is we can pick the bookstore that is carrying the book. Those are our custom post types and custom fields. Okay, now you have noticed that WordPress by default, it strips out HTML from the excerpt. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to add what we have in our custom excerpt. We'll make them blue. Okay, I'm going to save that. Now let's go on to the front end. Okay, we'll go down to the C Queen and we lost our italics. It removed the link to the genre archive and we lost the formatting of our list. Okay, so WordPress by default strips those out. Person writing our book reviews has said that they want that information to show in the archive. Let's just take some of this. We'll add it to our custom archive. Okay, and we'll remove this attempt. Here we'll remove these blocks and update. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the theme builder for Cadence and we're going to go to the book archive. And here, instead of having the post excerpt, we're going to remove this block and we're going to add instead that new block, the dynamic HTML block. We're going to go here and we're going to choose post custom field and the field name is custom excerpt. Okay. And there it is. So now I'm going to update and let's go back to the front end. 
we'll update here again. Okay, and so here is our custom excerpt. This is an example of using the new dynamic HTML block. So it's a dynamic HTML block. That means it's going to preserve the HTML attributes, characteristics of the content. Now let's take a look at the post relationship, how that works. Let's go back to our theme builder. We'll go to elements. This time we'll look at the book single. Okay, now we want to use that new relationship field. Let's try doing that. Let's add another button. We will add a second button here and we'll change the text to be by now. Okay, and okay, let's go to button settings and we will find our relationship field. So it's not a post URL. It's not an archive field or site or media or author. It's a meta relationship field and it's a post custom field. And the source here is book field available. Okay, and then it's the bookstore URL. Update this. And let's go to the book records and we'll view the record. Here's our new button, and let's see if it's working. Yep, okay, it went to Barnes & Noble, that's what we had set. So that's using the relationship source for the dynamic content. That's been a quick look at these two new features. It's great to see the Cadence team really iterating on the theme and the blocks to continue to add the improvements. There's a text summary of this video available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. I hope you found this interesting. Thank you for watching.